Hey you guys, this is Mona. I have a little announcement before today's episode. Um, the announcement is that this episode will likely be the last episode for a while. Uh, sadly, Ella has been a little sick the last few weeks and uh, she will need a little bit of time to recover. Uh, it's nothing nothing super serious, so don't, don't worry. I just wanted to notify you guys in case... Uh, anybody wonders where the episodes are coming slow or are not gonna come at all for maybe a week or two. Um, but I promise we will be back with the rest of the game as soon as possible and uh, finish the rest of the of the episodes and get back to get back to, I don't know, beating people up <laughs> as soon as we can. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to notify you guys in case you uh, would be wondering since I can't make community posts, sadly. Um, but yeah, I guess um, that's it already. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Even though we're a small channel and we're really doing this um, really casually, uh, it means a lot to us. Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for listening. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Uh, and see you guys soon in the next episode, whenever that will be. And uh, I guess without f further ado, <laughs> enjoy the episode. <laughs> bye bye. Hello and welcome back, everybody. Hello, everyone. Welcome to class. This is the history session. We're gonna. Oh boy. Oh yes. We're gonna <laughs> learn about a lot of cut things, cut stones, and Stone. you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid now. Thank you. I feel threatened. You should. I, I, okay. I'm threatening you with history, but this is fine. Okay, cool. Stone pillar with relief. Relief, I guess. H. Preceptian, found at the bottom of, the, of Lake Valeria, adorned with reliefs similar to those found on the walls of the tetracyclic towers. Floor tile. H. Preceptian? A piece of tiled floor from inside a ruined building. Broken stones fit together to create beautiful and intricate patterns. Yeah, that's true. That's true, we've seen those yeah. tiles. Ancient Lantern. H. Preceptian. A device built to hold fire. Most often found near towers and other ceremonial structures. May have religious significance. Preceptian Calendar. The ancient civilization of Simuria. Around 1,200 years ago, and it, the advanced civilization of Samuria was, was at its peak. Then, suddenly and inexplicably, it disappeared. A great collapse occurred, destroying the Samurian culture and plunging its people into a dark age of ruin. The items exhibited on the first floor are from the very beginning of this era. They aren't believed to be project. They aren't believed to be products of the ancient civilization itself, but nonetheless, its influence is clearly visible upon them, giving them immense academic worth. Hmm. Just a just a giant uh, crossbow. Crossbow. That is a fucking gigantic crossbow. It is. Septin calendar 100 to 500. The Dark Age of Ruin. Immediately following the Great Collapse, the world was plunged into confusion, signaling the beginning of what came to be referred to as the Dark Ages. This era was defined by almost endless conflict between various powers and numerous nations, large and small, and lasted for roughly 500 years. Knight's Equipment, age Septian Calendar 500. In an era defined by conflict, war became a way of life, and as a result, warriors came to wield great, great influence in society. This eventually led to them becoming a privileged social class of their own. The knights wielded ornaments le armaments like these when they went out onto the battlefield, returning with more spoils and land, and gradually increasing their influence and power all the more. Mini, just miniature sh shields. This looks like a, a like a Saiyan uniform. This one. <laughs> this one looks straight from Dragon Ball. I, I like how small the shields are and how big the crossbow is. Yeah, it's because you can't, you, you really can't hold any more if you're, you know, holding that crossbow. That's <laughs> true. Septian 1150 to 1200. The Arbel post revolutionary world. 
It's been only 50 years since Professor C. Epstein invented augments and world technology has advanced at lightning speed ever since. Perhaps the most notable res representative of these advances is the modern orbital power powered airship. These orbital ships are already used extensively in Laval, but neighboring nations such as Erebonia have also begun to devote themselves to their manufacture as well, and smaller sized airships are also used. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure. Ancient artifacts, age unknown. Artifact known. A relic of any shape or size found in an ancient ruin and generally of unknown or uncertain purpose. The church believes these artifacts have some connection with the Septarians, gifts from Aedius, and their recovery is one of the duties that the church fulfills. Artifacts are said to have supernatural powers, but those on display here are all, all ones that have since lost said powers and are no longer functional. Let's see, what do we have? That's a staff. That's... is that a cup? It's just a cup. It really looks like a vase to me, I don't know. With, like with a floor tile or whatever. <laughs> Flaw tile. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a book, <laughs> but possibly. Whatever. But it's, it's so flat. It's, you know, uh, it's, it's just... the it's the ancient artifact, the the great floor the tile, tile. <laughs> Br bringer of destruction <laughs> That's and how doom. It looks to me like <laughs> the great floor tile. I swear. It could wow, be a, it could be a trap. You don't know. <laughs> Church ritual <laughs> items. <laughs> H. 17 calendar, 900 approximately. The church has long been a source of art, and this has been true since the dawn of the Septian era. It was around the year 900, however, that the current likeness of Aedius is thought to have been first created. Likewise, many of the ritual items used by the church today first assumed their present forms in this time period too. Hmm... It's just another, is that a box or just another stone piece? And a lamp, I guess? I, gu I guess, a candle holder. And a book, it's the Bible. Church Testaments Manuscript. H. Septian Calendar 500. A handwritten copy of the scriptures used by the church at the end of the Dark Ages. The ability to print did not, ex did not exist in the Middle Ages, leaving no choice but to copy by hand onto pieces of parchment. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, and a spindle. Medieval loom. Medieval loom. H. Septin calendar 900. A man-powered machine used to spin thread. As, this, as the Septin era continued and people became accustomed to peas, cotton and other crops became more widely cultivated and sold. This was also the era in which hand cr handicrafts with the intent of op Tent of ob to obtain money came into practice. Can't read anymore. Maybe the black. Yeah, that one. The hmm? Did we already read that one? No. Septian calendar 500 to 1000, uh, 11, 1100. The Septian era. The first appearance of the Septian Church occurred around the year 500 and marked the age of the Dark Ages, the end of the Dark Ages. The Church centered around the goddess of the sky, Aedius, and espousing an ideology of human salvation, began to take an active role in society and rapidly permeated social consciousness. Eventually, the nobility and knight class could no longer ignore the Church's power, and a new order was established with the Church at, the, at its center. Do we read this one? There's nothing to yeah, read. That's, yeah, we can read it. All right, I think Ma that did is we already it for read the history. Stuff to the yeah, right. You, there was nothing. Yeah. Did we? Did we? It was what? just office. Yeah, I thought. I was wondering if this was more, but no, that's just office space. So yeah, we are done. We can now finally go to the bracer guild. Finally, bracer guild time. Yeah. Finally, doing some new Finally, do our job. Picking up all those side quests. Oh. May fortune smile upon you. With everyone together, I think we may just succeed. <laughs> now you've got it. If you're participating, I expect nothing less than anything you've got. <laughs> just anything? <laughs> right, we can't let those army goons beat us. Now then, we ought to get going soon. Hmm? 
Pretty. Now cut. Finally. <laughs> you get to inhibit your own or your own model. Um. Pardon the intrusion. Well, if it isn't a star on Joshua. Oh, kinda. <laughs> wow, fancy meeting you here. Ah, yes. And we meet once during. We met during. Uh, Ah yes, and we met once during the whole Sky Bandit incident. You were the rookies with Sherazard, right? A long time no see. What brings you all to Grand Cell? I feel that one. They have to hurry, or else they'll be late. Whoops, you're right. Sorry, you two. We'll talk later. We've got to be. We've got to be going. See you later, rookies. Pardon me. Bye, Cody. I love you. Huh. It must be so awesome to be a full-fledged bracer. Indeed. They all look pretty tough. But you were talking about something when we came in. Was that what I think it was? <laughs> Indeed so. They're all leaving to participate in the big fighting tournament, the martial arts competition. Wow. Uh, sorry. I'm Estelle Bright, currently of the Zeiss, Zeiss branch. And I'm Joshua Bright, of the same affiliation. I'm Alan. I'm with the Grand Cell branch. Miss Kielika got in touch with me and informed me that you two would be coming soon. Could I get you to go ahead and change your affiliation now? Certainly. Estelle and Joshua signed the assignment change forms. Excellent. I bid you welcome to the Grand Cell branch of the Bracer Guild. Personally, I've been looking quite forward to your arrival. You are the children of Cassius, are you not? Uh, yes. I suppose you know him. Are you really still surprised, Estelle? Everybody knows your dad. Oh, yes, I'm ever in his debt. Is it true that he set out on a journey from which he has not yet returned? Yeah. He hasn't been home in quite some time. He did write us a letter. But he failed to mention where he was, or what he was doing. We've traveled everywhere from Ronan to Zeiss, but we've heard no news of his whereabouts. Of his whereabouts. Huh. Which I suppose makes it unlikely that he's still in the country. That's a pity. The army's current counter-terrorism activities have made it difficult for us to do our jobs. With a former soldier like, Cass like Cassius among us, I hoped it might smooth things over. Mm. Is, is something wrong? Well, actually, we know what's going on behind the scenes with all of that. Uh? Let us tell you everything that happened with the incident in Zeiss. Estelle and Joshua explained what they'd learned in Laysen Fortress, as well as Professor Russell's request. Uh, what? What's wrong? Nothing. It's all just a lot to take in. So Colonel Richard is actually in control of the Royal Army? And the counter-terrorism is just a big fast put on by the Intelligence Division Special Forces? It's a little difficult to believe. But it's true! Talk with Kilika at the Zeiss branch and she'll confirm a story. It's alright. It's not that I don't believe you. On the contrary, a few pieces of the puzzle have just fallen into place, as it were. However, Colonel Richard is an extremely popular man in the city. Though it pains me to say so, I've been sympathetic to him all this time. And the citizens, they would never dream that the Colonel could be involved in any sort of conspiracy. I figured as much. The Intelligence Division has played everyone for fools. The Bracer Guild cannot directly interfere with military matters, but neither can we simply stand back and watch. First of all, did you accept the Professor's request? Absolutely. The question is, how do we get an audience with Her Majesty? That is an issue. Ordinarily, a guild letter alone would be enough to get you in. But really? Oh, no way! No need to worry, then. 
Still, I really don't think it's going to be quite that simple. No matter how you look at it, the royal guards that are the royal guards that are supposed to be protecting the castle are being th treated as terrorists. Do you understand what that means? Well, I think it means that. The letter would just get crumpled? Huh? Mm. I mean... I... Guess? I would have also said the queen is in danger, but I Yeah, know. but I... But I think this is about the letter not being... It's not being as easy for us to get in. Mm, let's just go with this. So I... That's the most likely outcome, yes. Odds are that the colonel has a strong has a, as strong a hold on Grenzel Castle as he did on Leiston Fortress. Leiston Fortress. Uh, I guess so. In other words, there's no simple way we're going to get in touch with Her Majesty. We could possibly sneak in, like we did at Leiston Fortress. But I doubt they'd be so foolish as to fall for the same trick twice. Mm. Well, in that case, why don't we just try going like normal and see what happens? If we play our, play our cards right, we might get some useful info out of the gatekeeper. Fine by me, but just one piece of advice. Keep the fact that we want to see the Queen to yourself. If Colonel Richard gets wind of it, he'll likely cause us no end of trouble. Oh, okay. And I believe it would be a good idea to keep this whole matter under wraps for the time being. We must gather more intel. Just so you know, the royal castle is just off the main street, directly to the north. Go ahead and get what information you can, but use the all utmost caution. You bet, Mr. Alnan. We'll let you know if we find anything. Ah, uh, let's... What? No requests? Not yet, I guess. But my side quests, though. My side quests. You will get side quests next time, I guess? <sighs> I think for now we just have to do main quest. I know you don't like to do main quest, but I fear <sighs> we now actually have to do some. Um, <sighs> I'm sure we'll get side quests soon enough. <sighs> Wow, that's a big castle. Yeah. I mean, I guess it is a castle. <laughs> wow. So, so that's Grand Cell Castle. It's gorgeous. I guess it really is fit for a queen. It's not just pretty. It's also really solidly built. For instance, look at the main gate. Yeah, I don't think getting through there would be an easy task. Which means I guess we'll have to talk to those soldiers there. Well, steal your nerves and let's give it a shot. Okay, we're just country folk, here on vacation and checking out the castle. And we just thought we'd try to and catch a glimpse of Her Majesty since we're here. Does that sound okay to you? You know, it is stabbingly good at coming up with that kind of stuff. Not that it doesn't come in handy, but still. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, now smile and... Do your thing. Do your thing. Um, hello there! Good afternoon. Welcome to Grand Sir Castle. Please state your business. Oh, we're just getting here from Mulan Roland. We're taking in the sights, you might say. We were wondering if there was any chance we might get a tour of the castle. Ah, I get it. I'm sorry, but access to the castle is restricted to authorized personnel only. The security's been tighter, what with the terrorism scares. Once the terrorists are caught, the tours will probably open up again. Really? Dang. There goes my dream of seeing the Queen in real life. 
Well, not necessarily. She always dresses for people from her terrace during the birthday celebration. You could see her then. A fair warning though, Her Majesty hasn't been in the best of health these days. I don't know if she'll be able to manage her traditional greeting. Huh? Her Majesty is ill? Yes. I hear it's because of stress. Or maybe from the shock of learning the Royal Guardsmen were involved in a terrorist plot. She hasn't been seen much lately. I believe she's resting in her private quarters. Oh. Damn the Guardsmen. How could they just turn traitor like that? Never did like those damned elitist jerks anyway. But, but Lieutenant Schwartz was always so kind and considerate to, ev to everyone. She even taught us court etiquette at how to wield a sword. It's just hard for me to picture someone like that as a terrorist. Of course it's hard. She probably left because she felt responsible for her man's action. Poor Lieutenant Schwartz. You don't suppose? You still had a little crush on the Lieutenant, do you? Yeah, it seems so. <clears throat> anyway, yes. The castle is off limits. Sorry, but you can't go inside. <sighs> well, I guess that's that. I'm just a tad bit worried. If Her Majesty has taken sick, who's seeing to her daily affairs with running the country? Yes, it's certainly a natural enough concern. For now, there's someone acting as a proxy on paper. How's that work? <laughs> Literally, on paper. I can't picture someone like him ever actually making any real governmental decisions. Hey, watch what you say. Though, I'll admit, I would have thought that the duty would fall to the princess. And you tell me to watch what I say? Well, what's that? Whoops, speak of the devil. There he is. Two girls. Mm hmm. Oh, I've never been so insulted. The tournament should have already begun, and I'm not there. Philip, why didn't you make me? Why did you wake me sooner? This is all your fault. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. Oh, you should be. But I was merely trying to look after your mental well-being. For the last few days, you have been in the banquet hall drinking and singing. Uh. Consuming excessively, exclusively beer and donuts while reading your morning comics. <laughs> that is the life. <laughs> I feel that it should come as no surprise that you overslept. Silence, Philip. I'm not in the mood to listen to your chastisements. As the future king, I can do what I want whenever I want. Time is short. Come on, we must hurry to the Grand Arena. It's close to the beer and donuts. By any chance, was that. We know, don't even say it. That was His Grace the Duke, acting proxy for Her Majesty. Wow. Suddenly I fear for the entire country. Well, don't worry too much. He, uh, he has a very reliable assistant. <laughs> and it's thanks to him that we haven't had any major incidents lately. Do tell. Uh. <laughs> Colonel Richard of the Royal Army Intelligence Division. Since the Duke is more of the playboy sort, the Colonel handles all the government affairs. I knew it. They're pushing harder into the core of the kingdom than I'd expected. So try not to let this whole thing get you down. Renzel's got plenty of other famous places you can check out. Yeah, you're in the royal city after all. Just go at your own pace. <laughs> you're right. We will. Thank you both for your kindness. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Well, that was... informative? I can't believe that the Duke is supposed to be acting on behalf of the Queen, though. The rear power is probably in the hands of Colonel Richard. What's more, no one around him has any clue that he's the one pulling all the strings. Being able to control the flow of information must be an extremely useful tool. You're not supposed to envy the enemy. But anyway, it looks like the Duke is, go is going to that fighting tournament. Can we go too? Yeah. If nothing else, we need to keep an eye on what he's up to. That settles it then. <laughs> um, which way was it to the Grand Arena? I believe it's in the East Block. So, back to the main road, then east. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Tournament. Finally, some action. Back to the main road, then east. So, let's spy on Mr. Donuts and Beer all day, every day. And wait, he. Give me tickets. Welcome to the Grand Arena. Would you like a ticket? Yes, two please. Preliminaries are in progress right now, but the main event will last for three days, starting tomorrow. For which day would you like your ticket? Uh... Actually, we were hoping to catch the preliminary matches if we could. Oh, alright then. They're already more than halfway finished, though. Will that be a problem? Nope, no problem at all. Okay. A bad value, but uh, hey, not my money. That'll be t 1,000 Mira. Wow, that's a lot. I had heard that there was some kind of discount for the birthday celebration. I'm sorry, sir. This year there have been some uh, complications that have made it impossible for us to offer discounts. Oh, okay. That's pretty sucky, but uh, what can you do? Let's see. 900, 950. Thank you very much. Here are your tickets. The entrance to the arena is directly to your left. Show your tickets at the gate. Yes. Okay. Currently at the arena, we are holding the preliminary matches on the martial arts competition. May I see your tickets? Thanks. Everything seems to be in order. You may enter at your discretion. <laughs> oh, wow! This room is gorgeous! This is the entrance hall. Audience seats are on the second floor, apparently. Let's take a look. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. If you want to watch the preliminaries, you'd best hurry up. I believe you might just be in time to catch the seventh match. Welcome to the Grand Are Arena. Spectators may use the stairwell through either door to reach audience seating. Da -da -da -da. Okay, stairways to the seating then. Yes. It's the waiting room, okay. Uh, how are we on time, by the way? Uh, we still have four minutes left. All right, um, we might be able to do that. Oh, wow. Look at all these people. Yeah, there's some serious enthusiasm in the air. Judging by the number of spectators, this must be a major event. I wonder how far the prelim rounds go. Thank you for your patience. The seventh round is now starting. Oh, looks like they're starting up. Well, let's go find ourselves a place to sit down. Southside, blue team. Border patrol, second regiment team. Captain is second lieutenant, Sammy. I thought the matches were one-on-one. -on -one. I guess this one's the team routing. I could have sworn it was individual bouts only, though. Northside, red team. Bracer Guild, Grand Sal Branch team. Captain is Kurt. 
Hey, it's Kana's team. Wow, we got here just in time to see them fight. They're acting as if they hadn't left the Lubomiers. This begins the seventh preliminary match. Both teams go to your starting places. Take your positions. Positions, positions. Begin! Oh, yes. Actually, get to see them fight. Yeah. Ah, they stand no chance. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Go get him, Karna. Wow, Karna, you're the weakest. Yep. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Go for the buff good. first. Not that they actually needed that buff since the others are really weak. Yeah. Or Grant just hits really hard, who knows? Yeah, who knows? Don't stop. Can we make this copper too? Yes. The cat is really quick at casting. Well done. Nice. Nice. Wow. There we go. KO! Winner is Kurt's team! Woohoo! Go, Kaina! That was a good match. The soldiers move well, but the braces are better at working as a team. Yeah, you could use their moves for teaching lessons. Oh, wow, I don't know what it is, but watching martial artists at work really gets me hyped, hyped up. I wish we had put off going to the castle. I'd have liked to see this from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I know how you feel. But part of being an adult is putting one's own feelings aside in favor of doing what needs to be done. <sighs> well, I like not being an adult then. Next up, we have the eighth preliminary match. First, would the remaining competitors step forward? Southside, blue team. Team Raven. Captain is Belden. Actually, the ravens. What? What are those guys doing that doing here? Oh yeah, it's that group from the warehouse district in Wuhan. Ah, I see. The competition's open in the, to the general public. Ah, uh, they stick out like sore thumbs. They really don't deserve to be counted among professional soldiers and martial artists. Northside red team. From the neighboring Calvert Republic, appearing alone is Zin. Uh, Zin? Another familiar face, eh? Small world. But fighting alone is going to be a real handicap for him. No kidding. He may be fighting a bunch of punks, but if they surround him, he's in real trouble. He's just fighting the ravens, it's fine. Yeah, he, he can do that. Zin will be competing in this in this prelim bout solo with no team to stand at his side. He fights at a considerable disadvantage, but his pro prodigious skill will make this match a sight to behold. Oh yes, we ask all in attendance to understand the arrangement. Everyone loves it. This begins the eighth preliminary match. Both teams go to their starting places. Ready? Begin. Okay. Oof. 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 He's so quick. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, there they go. Oh, yeah. That's it. Well done. Bye bye. <laughs> You're amazing, Zen. KO! Winner is Zin!
Yahoo! Chosen! It'll show them what braces I'm made of. Looks like he was I was worrying over nothing. His build speed and technique make him a real force to be reckoned with. For anyone else though, I'd say four and one is insane. Yeah, seriously. The current match will mark the end of the preliminaries. Eight teams will be competing in the no hold barred matches. The competition opens tomorrow and over three days the ultimate champions will be decided. Now we will hear some words from the tournament sponsor Duke Dunan. Ah, uh -huh. My dear ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your efforts in today's fine matches. I regret that government affairs forced me to miss the first half of them, but I was here for the second half and what I saw was an exciting and enjoyable display of technique and talent. The distressing news of recent terrorist activities has had an unfortunate impact on Her Majesty's health, but I ask that you take heart. She has entrusted her governmental duties to me, Dunan von Auslaser, and I will do all that I can to live up to your expectations. Let us all remember the spirit and enthusiasm we feel during this competition and recall it in the days ahead. I hope you will all enjoy tomorrow's No Hold Barred Battle Battle Royale. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. I'm... Uh, I'm not used to hearing the Duke speak so decently to people. You probably just mem You probably just memorized something written to uh, written by the intelligence division staff. <laughs> ah yes. The winner of the competition will not only receive a prize in Mira, but will also get a special gift from me. Your Grace, are you certain that this is wise? You be silent. This is a fine opportunity to show my generosity. This gift is to be a written invitation to a royal court dinner party at Grand Cell Castle to be held in three days. Sadly, Her Majesty's pre presence will be missed, but it will be attended by celebrated persons of great renown. Arrangements have been made for only the finest royal and noble cuisine to be served. I trust that this will serve as incentive for those competing to excel in advance. That's our way in. Hey, Joshua. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, it would be ideal if Kana got that invitation. If they win the championship, they will be allowed to the castle. It'll all be above board. That could give her the chance to get that message to Her Majesty. Or were you thinking something else? No, that that's it, but... I hate the idea of leaving someone else to, to deliver the professor's message. I guess can be choosers, I guess. I'd have no objections. Shall we try to catch them in the waiting room before we leave before they leave the arena? Sure. Let's see. Kana's team came out from the north gate, right? Right. If they're still there here, that's probably where we'll find them. Oh, nice. Alright, let's okay. go search for them next time. Indeed. Uh, and, uh, and hope that maybe we can just swap out. We're just gonna dress up as, as Kana and her team. It's not that hard. Uh, Zin theoretically still needs people on his team. Does he? He he was a single person. He, that seemed I mean, fine. Yeah, but he, so fine he, only had, he only had to fight the ravens. Like, even if, even if he doesn't need us, it's Theoretically, a team competition. I so think maybe my, my we could of, just join him. I think my plan of dressing up as Kana's team is uh, way superior. I will take no questions okay. and no objections. Okay. See you next time, guys. Goodbye. Bye bye. My plan is amazing. <laughs>